How's it going, everyone? It's Carl to Grid Games with this week's pickups video. Um, didn't get a lot of stuff in this week. Got in um, some nice stuff, some good quality titles, but not a lot. Uh, I picked up a couple things on eBay and had some stuff come into the store. I uh, figured I'd get right to it. So to start off, I picked up not one, but two copies of GTA 5 on the PS3. Um, not exactly my preferred system. I would rather play games on the 360, and I do have it on the 360. But, I mean, obviously these will stay in the store. I was really surprised to get in PS3 games um, from trade-ins. It's, it's been my uh, experience in this area that th the 360 was the more than 200% dominant console for this, this whole region. Um, almost nobody has a PS3 around here. But I got some games in, so... Um, Picked up the Simpsons game, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City. Didn't really need any of them, but it was a good deal. I had no reason to pass it up. Uh, also for the Wii, picked up Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, I've never played any shooters on the Wii. Uh, you can use the gun attachment, which I own. Honestly, I think I'm going to try it out. I, I don't see how it would play. I think I would rather play it on one of the other two consoles, but it's still, it still should be interesting to give it a shot. Um, for the 360, picked up Tenchu Z. And I got a sealed copy of Bayonetta. Um, I picked this up on eBay. It was a good deal, so I didn't pass it up. Uh, also picked up on eBay... Uh, Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Summoner, uh, Raidu Kuzahoni vs. King Abaddon, which is also sealed for the PS2, came with the plushie, which is just freaking neat. I don't know. I may put, I may just sell this back on eBay. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it. I picked it up really cheap. Um, certainly not going to open it. There's no point in opening a sealed game that's old like that. But uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Um, picked up some boxed games this week. I got in, uh, for the Game Boy Color, Flintstones, Burger Time, and Bedrock. Picked that up at Savers, actually. Uh, it's in really good shape. Box has a little bit of crushing on the side, but generally in really good shape. Uh, the manual's in there. I got in South Park Rally for the N64, which... Uh, I thought it was going to be a really good game, and then I put it in the other day, and it's pretty mediocre. I don't know how you can screw up a cart game, but they did it. I also picked up a couple strategy guides from, um, where did I get these? I got these at Savers. Um, they were like a dollar a piece. I realize most people nowadays don't need strategy guides. Uh, you got the internet. I, I don't see the point in owning them myself. But they were for some cool titles, so I, I picked them up. I got Elder Scrolls. For Oblivion, which has some interesting artwork in it, um, layouts, maps of every place you can go. I played this game for about a year. This is probably the most time I've ever put into a game was put into Oblivion. So it would have been really cool actually to have this book back when I was playing it. I still never played Skyrim, but uh, it's, a, it's an interesting little book. Um, and then I got Final Fantasy XII Strategy Guide, which has a really a lot of good artwork, uh, a lot of interesting stuff about the game. I've never played Final Fantasy XII, and a couple people have seen this sitting around the store the last couple days, and all they do is complain that that game was horrible, the game sucked. But dollar a piece for strategy guides that were originally $20. Sure, why not? It's good gaming paraphernalia. Um, and picked up some games for the Super Nintendo. Some... Sports titles. I got in Super High Impact Football. I guess not really sports titles, just one sports title. Family Feud. Star Fox. And lastly this week, uh, something I just got in last night. I got in a copy of Earthbound Uncut. Uh, complete in the box. Anyone that doesn't know, this is, this is a repro cart. Um... They took the Japanese version of Earthbound, translated it into English, because the story changed a little bit. 
Um, so this is the only way to really play the original Mother um, slash Earth Brown, the Japanese version of the game, um, as it was intended before the U.S. censors took over. It's a pretty cool pickup. I've, I've never I've never had a repro cart. Um, I checked it out last night. It plays really well. It looks just like the original game. Um, so it's in really good shape. And the box, it, it came like, it's pretty good packaging. So that's all I got this week. Like I said, it wasn't a lot. Um, school's starting, so things are slowing down a little bit. Our video game tournaments this week were a little bit lighter than usual. Um, a lot of the college kids have gone back. But, of course, we're still here, and I'm still here doing these videos. So, um, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Uh, curious if anybody out there has played repros uh, and what their thoughts are on them. Because, I mean, regular Earthbound right now is going for about $160, $170 on eBay. Uh, that's about what I sold the last copy I had for. And even this, this repro cart goes for about $100 boxed. And I'm curious, is it worth it? Is, is, are people just getting ripped off? I don't know. If you have anything to say about it, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, otherwise, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.